Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your banner designs from Figma to GIF files um, that you can use online for uh, any ad network or if you just want to use them on your website, uh, anything like that. So the first thing we need to do is install a plugin called Bannerify and if you haven't already done so, you can jump into the Figma menu in the top left hand corner if you click on the little Figma icon and if you could just go down to community or plugins and in the search bar just type in the keyword Bannerify so that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y and if you click on the plugins tab you'll see a result called Bannerify uh, pop right up and the thing you want to do is go over to the right hand side and you'll see an install button if you click on that install button it'll change to look like mine where it says installed and has a little check mark uh, once you see that check mark it means that you're ready to go and you can jump back into your Figma project. So today I'm just going to be using a banner set that I designed uh, as a bit of an example. So we're going to export all of these banners into a GIF file um, which is animated based on the animations that are being set up in the plugin. Um, so the first thing we need to do now that we've installed it is right click anywhere on the page, go down to plugins and then the top result in my menu is Bannerify and so you just want to click on that Bannerify plugin and this will just load up the plugin that we've just installed. So what it's going to do is just load up all of our parent frames um, in the left hand side here and it's going to parse those as banners. Um, so each of those frames uh, is one banner uh, and then each of those sub layers inside of each frame becomes a layer uh, inside of the banner for each one. Um, so those can have animations applied to them. You can see here I've already got some animations set up. Um, I can preview that in the window here. So just got some very simple animations set up on all of these. And I'm not going to be showing you how to use all the animation features in this tutorial. Um, I do have another tutorial on the YouTube channel that you can find um, which goes in depth into how to use all of the animation tools, um, how to set up easy delays and bulk uh, apply animations to different layers um, but in this tutorial I'm just going to assume that you've already set up your animations the way you want and you just want to export these banners to uh, GIF files. So I'm happy with my animations, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with uh, the way that they look and all I want to do is just export them. Um, so all we need to do is click on this button in the top menu bar uh, which is called export to GIF slash video. So if I click on that button, that brings up uh, the settings panel for this feature. So it's telling us that uh, this is going to let us export our banners to either a GIF or a WebM video. Um, and it's just letting us know that the banners are going to be played through in real time and rendered out. And we're going to get a zip file when it's complete. So we've got a couple of options here. Uh, the first one is in regards to looping the GIF. So if we want our GIFs that are exported to infinitely loop, then we can check this box, uh, which is enabled by default. If you don't want your GIFs to loop and you just want them to play through once and then stop at the final frame, you can uncheck that option and that will uh, remove that ability from the exported GIFs. But in this case, I'm going to leave mine to, to loop. Um, and then the other option we've got is output quality. So this slider here, you can slide up and down and that will change the compression or the site file size and quality that the GIF's going to be exported at. Um, so you can you can slide that up and down. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at let's say 65 in this case. And the final export option we've got here is the preview page option. So this little checkbox is just letting you set dark mode for the HTML preview page that it's going to generate. Um, so once the GIFs are all exported you will get a little index HTML file uh, which you'll be able to open in your browser as we'll see in a minute and that will uh, serve as a, a way to uh, preview all of the GIFs at once and it's just a really nice thing that you can upload onto a server somewhere and send it around to your clients or send it around to your team for an approval uh, stage. So this little checkbox just turns on dark mode for that page. Um, if you turn it off it's just going to render it out with a uh, light grey background the same as the Figma background. So I'll just leave that off for now. Um, so now that we've set those settings up the way that we want, um, we simply just click on the export to GIF button and that will start the process. So I've got 11 banners in this design 
And what the plugin's doing right now is it's, uh, first of all, playing through the banner. So you, you saw a second ago, it's just playing through all of the keyframes and that's essentially capturing the animation in real time. And then once it's finished capturing it, uh, the second phase of the export process per banner is to then render those frames into a GIF. Um, so that's what you can see it doing right now. And you've got a little progress indicator uh, per GIF whenever that happens. Um, so depending on how many banners you have and depending on how long each banner uh, plays for, that will roughly determine how long this export process will take. Um, so effectively, you'll need to let it play through all of your banners. And as I said, in this case, I've got 11. You might have less or you might have more. Um, but if you just let it keep going, it will eventually export all of these into a zip file and you'll be able to uh, open them up. So we're going to have a look at that in just a second. Um, so I'm just going to speed this video up in a moment just so it finishes up at the, the 11 mark. Um, just so you don't have to sit and watch the whole thing. Um, but this is the process that you'll, you'll go through. Okay, so that's just finished up and now it's at the final stage of just zipping the zip files, the GIF files rather, uh, into a zip. Um, so this typically doesn't take too long. Uh, it's, it's basically just going through all of the GIFs it just generated and it's zipping them up into a single file so you'll be able to uh, save this and then double click to open it in just a moment. Uh, so we'll see that show up in just a second. Okay, so that's just finished. Um, and once it completes, you'll get a prompt to download this to your desktop or download it to your computer. Um, by default, it will just use the, the date and the time. And you can obviously change that file name if you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as the default and click save to send it to my desktop. So, that, so that's the process. So the banners are now ready. Um, it's telling us that we can unzip the contents of the file to the computer. Um, so I'll open up my desktop and I can see here I've got my zip file, uh, which I can now open. And there we go. We've got our entire folder of GIFs. Um, so I can either open these up uh, with preview. So I can preview them on my uh, file system just using Mac and that'll just play through. Or as I mentioned before, it comes with this little index.html file and I can actually open that up just by double clicking it and that will open it up in Chrome. So that's what our preview page looks like. You can see now it's just generated uh, all of the banners that we exported in one place and it's just going to play through them on a loop uh, because we set that infinite loop option in our plugin settings earlier. And it's worth noting this page is also uh, fluid and, and responsive. So if you do want to uh, view this on different monitors or you're sending it to a client, uh, it will automatically rearrange the banners so that it fits to their screen. Um, so you can, you can resize that as, as much as you want. Um, and it will always look nice with a grid of different uh, export banners. So that's, that's what it looks like. So that's all of our GIFs playing at the same time. If we just want an overview of, uh, of all of them, uh, you can see here, they're looking really nice. They're looking very smooth. Um, the frame rate should be about, uh, 30 frames a second. And so, yeah, you're, you're really getting very, very smooth animations. Um, there'll probably be an export option in the future where you'll be able to specify the frame rate, uh, which I think will be useful. Um, but at the moment, it'll just export it uh, by, with this default uh, option set. Okay, so yeah, that's our whole folder. Um, you can see here that all of them are individual files too. So these are all being loaded into that index file as a preview. Um, but of course, these are the real files that you can actually uh, use and, and uh, send around or upload onto your website or upload to your banner network or your ad platform. And you'll be able to use that uh, to advertise your products or services for you or your clients, um, or whatever use case that you have. Um, so yeah, there we go. It's really simple. It's as you saw, just a one click process. Once you've set up all your animations, uh, in the Figma plugin, the Bannerify plugin, uh, as I said, if you're interested in seeing what that looks like, uh, we do have another video 
on that, which goes really in depth into how to structure the animations and, and set those up really easily. Um, but yeah, this was a highly requested feature for the Bannerify plugin, um, being able to export GIFs from Figma uh, with your animated banners that you're already exporting to HTML in most cases. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give a, a quick tutorial today to show you what that new feature looks like and what the output looks like. And yeah, hopefully you'll find it useful in your own process uh, with your own team or at your own agency. And yeah, if you have any feedback, please let us know. We're always trying to make the plugin uh, as good as it can be. Um, but that's all I have for you today. And I'm sure there'll be more improvements in the future that I can go through in another video. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back very soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one.